As college students, we have used ibuprofen for many situations, but not all of us know how it works. Here's a quick overview on pain. When cells are damaged, they release a tuning chemical called arachidonic acid. Two enzymes named COX-1 and COX-2 then break this acid down to form prostaglandin H2, which in turn is converted to multiple chemicals which raise body temperature, cause inflammation, and lower your body's pain threshold. Now when certain nerve cells called nociceptors are receiving pain above this threshold, they send signals to the brain and the brain tells us something is wrong with the feeling of pain. When we feel pain, such as a cut, generally the first thing we do is search out that bottle of ibuprofen. After swallowing one or two pills, our stomachs break down this medicine and it is absorbed into our bloodstreams through the stomach wall. The ibuprofen then tracks down and attaches to two enzymes named COX-1 and COX-2. This prevents the enzymes breaking down the arachidonic acid, in turn preventing pain because it now takes more to make the nociceptors send the pain signal to the brain. Eventually COX-1 and COX-2 will reject the ibuprofen and then you need to decide if you are all better or if you need to take a couple more.